Wes Mahoney was 18 when he settled into a job as a high-rise window washer, a job he loved. One day, after being on the job for almost 10 years, he suffered a foot injury at work. A serious injury that required screws and pins to put his foot back together again. I fell about 20 years ago. I fell three stories, straight like the fall. Went to go take a step and realized it was a lot more than just a sprain. It took a year for the injury to heal and then Wes went back to work. A year later, through no fault of his own, Wes re-injured his foot. This time he was forced to turn to the workers' compensation system, known as the WSIB. Wes had no idea what effect the WSIB and its policies would have on him and the life he shares with his partner, Kim. Before the re-injury, at least he was able through the pain to still be, to have a life, to still be able to go for a walk, you know, to dance across the kitchen floor with me, to, to do stuff as, as a husband and wife, and we've lost a lot of that as a couple. You know, Wes lives in pain daily, you know, and with that pain that he lives with, it, I mean, it brings on depression, it brings on moodiness, it brings on Oh God, sometimes I really want to take his cane and upside him to, you know, the side of his head, but I have to understand what he's going through, you know, because nobody outside these walls sees what he's going through. I'm very quiet. I don't share nothing no more. I keep everything to myself. I withdraw from a lot. I just don't want to do nothing. It takes a lot for me to do something. And that's not fair to Kim. Wes and Kim soon discovered that they had fallen victim to a nasty rule known as deeming. It's a practice in which the WSIB can deduct money from your WSIB benefits equal to the amount you could have earned if work had been available. Deeming is them deciding that you're capable of work whether you are or you aren't. Labor market re-entry is, is what it's called when they de do the deeming and um, it's what they decide what you can do. Wes was told to get a job at Pizza Pizza Call Center. Or a job, parking lot attendant, yes. parking cars. Right. How do you park a car when you've got a right foot that's not working? And uh, this time here she came up with uh, a ticket taker in a movie theater working in a gas station and uh, a hospital laundromat. But at the same time, I got to go shade a chair in there and uh, multiple times that I can get up and just walk around so I don't stiffen up. It makes no difference if you can actually find a job. That's because the WSIB officials deem that you can work. So they deduct the money as if you already have a job, even if you don't. So you're not actually working, but they're, they're basing it that you're working for Wes at the time, they decided he could be working 40 hours a week. So they put phantom jobbed him 40 hours a week at minimum wage and then subtract what he was getting from, from his compensation, the loss of income earnings benefits, which brought him down to $400 a month. Deeming is now accepted among all governments and companies across Canada. It has one singular purpose, to save money for governments and employers. But its direct effect is to attack injured workers. I started working at the age of 15. Never been out of work in my life until I got hurt. And then I got hurt and now like my life's just been turned upside down and people are saying to me, like, well, why are you so depressed about it? How can you not? Tired of combating WSIB day in and day out, Kim launched a plan to fight back. It's called the Chain of Shame. This is the Chain of Shame, and this was developed to represent injured workers at events that they, they can't be to. Um, one side of the chain represents injured workers, the other side of the chain represents the cuts that WSIB has made to the compensation system, and it includes the sunshine list. We have Chief Strategy Officer making $325,523.97 a year. Um, Chief Operating Officer, 
371,933.46. David Marshall, 400,000 annually, and then when he's finished his five years, his five-year reign of terror, he'll get a 20% bonus for the dollars he saves WSIB. 324 people that are making over a hundred thousand dollars while injured workers are living on welfare, Ontario disability, even if they are getting compensation, they're going to food banks, they're having to rely on friends and neighbors, they're afraid whether their power is going to be shut off. There's people that are living in their cars and they call themselves the hidden homeless. They're not just claims and numbers, they're, they're the names of people who have been injured. The black represents fatalities. You know, you shouldn't go to work and, and not come home. You should go to work and come home every day. The shame belongs to WSIB for forcing people into the poverty that they have. Kim and Wes believe the WSIB has to change and that this change should begin at the top. The salary levels from the top up need to be cut. The climate of, de of denial needs to be changed. You know, instead of no, 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 it should be yes. What can we do to get this person back to work quicker? They've paid out more in rewards and rebates to employers in the last five or six years than they've paid out to injured workers. WSIB has to start treating people like people and they have to start treating workers with respect and, and people have to start understanding what's going on around them. And More what... than a number. Yes. To them all we are is a number. It's easier to eliminate a number than it is a person. Mm -hmm. But they got to start getting to know their clients. Talk to them more like they're human. Not like they're a piece of dirt. <laughs>